Step right up, dear gamers, for a thrilling journey into the mysterious and dark world of Five Nights at Freddy's. While Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, and Freddy have stolen the spotlight for years, the forgotten animatronic legends take a seat back, and the unsung horrors of the night emerge from obscurity. These forgotten legends are all set to step into the spotlight and give you a tour of the FNAF franchise you never had before. These unsung animatronics are yearning to share their stories. They've been biding their time within the dimly lit and dusty corridors, but now the hour is here for them to emerge from the gloom. You might never hear their names, but you'll soon know their stories. So prepare your nerves and grab your flashlight as we unveil the untold tales of the most forgotten FNAF animatronics hiding in plain sight. It's the time to shine a vindictive spotlight on the eerie and Enigmas of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Hey, Lisa, Michael here. Your home security is great. Welcome to the bone chilling world of FNAF's most forgotten animatronics. Five Nights at Freddy's has introduced numerous animatronic characters throughout its various spin offs and games. Some popular animatronics like Foxy have gained more attention than others. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Within the Five Nights at Freddy's universe, a name that emerged during the pivotal events of the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 and shrouded in obscurity is none other than Fred Trap. While the third season marked a fascinating twist in the FNAF lore, the sinister role of the Fred Trap often goes unnoticed among the most popular animatronic characters. Fred Trap, also known as Spring Trap, is the nightmarish and reanimated amalgamation of human and animatronic elements. Fred Trap played a central role as the primary animatronic in FNAF 3, wearing the tattered remains of the original Spring Bonnie suit. Oh, how fascinating it looks in the rabbit-like animatronic costume, masking the vengeful spirit of William Afton, the infamous purple guy. Fred Trap served as the menacing and relentless force, haunting the derelict Fazbear's fright horror attraction. Don't miss out on the horrific detailing that can run shivers down everyone's spine. Fred Trap eerily human-like features and empty, lifeless eyes served as a chilling testament to the dark history of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Its existence symbolizes the macabre fusion of a machine and a man, a chilling reminder of the horrors that transpired within the pizzeria's walls. Fred Trap represents the zenith of William Afton's twisted obsessions, and the player's encounter with this animatronic is a chilling reminder of the series' dark history. While most users simp over Bonnie, Fazbear, Foxy, and Freddy, Fred Trap's significance as a pivotal character in the lore can't be overstated. Its legacy is despair and dread, a haunting reminder that some secrets are better to be hidden, even in a universe filled with unspeakable horrors. Okay, what would you classify as an obscure character? I know right many of you must bring up Shadow Bonnie and Shadow Freddy, but they are extremely popular Easter egg characters. For a truly obscure character, let's dive deep. The Lesser Known Season Five Nights at Freddy's 2, marked by an unsettling and peculiar chapter in the FNAF saga, introduced a character in the franchise that failed to gain attention, but announced some characteristics that are hard to resist. Evil Endo, the specter of animatronic malevolence, made its ominous debut in Season 2. Even though Evil Endo played a prominent character in the game's very own trailer, they never made it to the final game. Evil Endo's role in the game was truly obscure, often creeping in the background and rarely directly engaging with the players. Despite being the mischievous and now iconic animatronic toy, Evil Endo avoided the spotlight and crept into the shadows. Evil Endo sulked through the ventilation systems, a relentless pursuer in the dark, striking fear into the hearts of players, daring to step away from their guard post. Undoubtedly, this enigmatic antagonist existed as an eerie and rare glimpse into the deeper layers of the FNAF lore. In terms of specification, 
Evil Endo is second to none. Evil Endo was an endoskeleton, stripped of its kid-friendly and colorful shell, bearing an exposed skeletal frame that adds a spine-shivering element to its design. Its twisted grin and hollow eyes embodied a sense of malice, further heightening the sense of dread within the game. The character's anonymity and nominal storyline presence proffered it as one of the most overlooked figures in the FNAF saga. Whatever you say, its eerie charm makes Evil Endo linger with a mysterious and unsettling enigma in the shadows of the franchise's history. Moving to our third stop, which is the Orange Spring Trap. Orange Springtrap, a truly forgotten entity within the FNAF universe, made its exclusive appearance in the overlooked game, Five Nights at Freddy's 3. We all know this particular season marked a transition for the series, delving deeper into the haunting backstory of the haunted pizzeria. One thing that disappointed many gamers was Orange Springtrap's relatively minimal role in the grand scheme of FNAF lore. But let me tell you one highly impressive fact about this animatronic. No collector has ever succeeded in getting their hands on this probably one-of-a-kind Springtrap toy. The original Springtrap was a greenish-yellow toy with tattered purple attire, taking center stage as the malicious force housing the vengeful spirit of William Afton. This updated version of Springtrap appeared during the minigames within FNAF 3, offering players a unique and alternative view of the character. While the main storyline revolves around the Springtrap's wickedness, Orange Springtrap arrives as a ghostly echo, a representation of the animatronic's past innocence. Let's now shift our focus to its specifications. The Orange Springtrap remains visibly similar to its green version. However, it possessed a cleaner appearance and brighter orange tune, hinting at its former non-haunted and fictional life. In simple words, the contrast between the two Springtraps highlights their transformation from beloved kids' entertainers to a vessel, far malevolence. While most Springtraps gained the spotlight with their not-so-charming yet eerie appearance, Orange Springtrap whispered a quieter tale, one of corruption, endurance, and lost innocence. In the grand tapestry of the FNAF series, Orange Springtrap might be one of the most forgotten animatronics. Its impact is often outshined by its more sinister counterpart. Yet, it remains a poignant and subtle reminder of the tragic narrative that underlies the entire franchise. While we are talking about Springtraps, leaving Dark Springtrap behind would be an injustice. It's the Springtrap version we saw at the very end of the Sister Location Custom Night. However, that was the first and the last time we saw the iteration of the obscure character. Most gamers assume that Scott decided to replace it with Scraptrap. Great. Just great. Dark Springtrap, FNAF's one of the most overlooked and obscure characters, emerged within the eerie corridors of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. While the FNAF series has already established a core chilling lore, this animatronic has sprinkled some spices on the top. Dark Springtrap's role was peculiar, as it symbolized the focal moments in the Chronicle, yet remained masked in obscurity. In the FNAF Season 4, this character is also referred to as a nightmare, as it embodies the torment and fear of the game's protagonist. Dark Springtrap belongs to the nightmares haunting the players, ditching the ordinary animatronics found in the pizzerias. Let me make the picture easy for you. This animatronic is the demonic depiction of the so-called character, Springtrap, taking an even more nightmarish form. Its main role is to run shivers down everyone's spine, navigating the game's horrors. Imagine roaming in the corridors and suddenly facing off sharp teeth, glowing eyes, and a withered, skeletal, menacing appearance in the dark. Yes, I'm talking about none, other than Dark Springtrap. Its torn, tattered appearance made it truly a terrifying entity, haunting the player's dreams. The major difference between the dark and normal Springtrap we noticed was the prominent, large chunks of their body that are straight up missing now. However, one weirdest part about all I noticed is the dark Springtrap got a lot of merch for some reason. 
When I first read this name, I thought it must be some of the cutest characters in the FNAF universe. However, its one look literally left me shivering. This obscure animatronic is rarely discussed in the FNAF community, making its discreet debut in the franchise's first season with the original game, Five Nights at Freddy's. Even though Mad Endo contributed to establishing the eerie ambiance of the game, its role was rather peripheral and mostly overlooked. In the season, Mad Endo wasn't a primary antagonist. Yes, you heard it absolutely right. Initially, it served as an eerie backdrop, lurking within the pizzeria's shadows. Hey, you can't miss out on checking its distinguishing features, which are the twisted grin and hollow eyes. It was an essential variant of the standard endoskeleton, stripped out of its kid-friendly and colorful animatronic shell. While the Mad Endo never attacked the player directly, its presence in the background was enough to give an overall sense of fear and unease, often left uncharted amidst the more protruding animatronics. Mad Endo's obscurity was promptly due to its lack of in-depth narrative or lore and minimal role in the game. Most popular characters like Bonnie, Freddy, and Foxy overshadowed this character, leaving it alone in the dusty and dimly lit corridors. This lack of information and very obscurity has turned Mad Endo into FNAF's one of the most forgotten animatronics. Mad Endo might not be at the front line of the FNAF discussions, but its peculiar design and eerie presence make it an intriguing part of the FNAF universe. So, as we draw curtains throughout our journey through the shadows of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, we've unveiled some of the hidden gems, echoing fear, eerie enigma, and forgotten nightmares. Since these unsung animatronic heroes have whispered their stories in the corners of your mind, now they will linger in the eerie corridors of your imagination. Though they might be one of the most forgotten animatronics in the FNAF universe, they are far from forgotten in our hearts. Their oblivion only adds to the aura of this beloved franchise. So, dear fearless adventurers, we left you with a chilling farewell and a lingering sense of unease. Remember, the most forgotten animatronics are simply waiting to whisper their spine-tingling stories. So, until we meet the next time in the eerie empires of animatronic love, keep your flashlight close, your minds about you, and may your nights be filled with thrilling, exciting, and eerie FNAF-tastic adventures.